What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight, we got ourselves another brand new song from Archspire. This song is called Drone Corpse Aviator. You know what's funny? I actually wasn't planning on doing more Archspire because I know their album is coming out and I've already done two singles and uh, I kind of wanted to save the rest for the album reaction. That is for sure going to happen. But this song has a cool title, like Drone Corpse Aviator. It seems like three words that they just kind of put together. But <laughs> we'll find out what it means. And uh, also the music video thumbnail just seems kind of cool. And like we actually have like a music video where the last song just had kind of like a visualizer. So uh, yeah, I'm very pumped to hear this. And you know, it's just going to be stupid fast. It's going to be ridiculous. And uh, I'm very excited. Anyway, I think that's all we need for chit chat. So let's fucking do it. All right, Drone Corpse Aviator. Maybe it makes a little bit of sense. But anyway, let's get it. Three, two, one, go. Violent images. All right. <laughs> yeah, he, he, that's violent already. He's violently attacking that drum. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I'm loving the concept of this video, man. Because they're not human. <laughs> Ooh. So classical sounding, man. It literally sounds like Mozart or something. Something I can follow there. This song's actually kind of easier to follow right now. Okay, so it's a dual solo. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> oh, that is fucked. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I can see why uh the warning. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. 
Well done on the video. Holy crap. These guys are so fun to react to, man. They're so fun to react to. All right, all right. Let's talk about the song now. Where do I even begin when it comes to Arspire, man? Like, their music is absolutely insane. Um, you know why I think I really love it? it? It's very prog metal, and obviously it's tech death. But, I mean, this feels like, say, a prog metal band wrote a seven-minute song, but then doubled the BPM on it. That's essentially Artspire. Like, they wrote pretty much like a seven minute track here, but they play it so fast that it's condensed down to. Wow, it's four minutes. The song is like almost four minutes. That could be part of the video, but damn, that's pretty long. Like, I know that it took them three years or so to uh, write this album, and it shows like the amount of detail is absolutely insane. It's so hard to break it down on first listen, but I am going to do my best. So let's go through the pros and cons. Number one pro is that I thought this song was actually a little bit easier to follow, which was actually kind of cool and like super surprising because, you know, the last two songs were just absolutely insane and relentless. And this song for sure was the same like case here. But I mean, like the drone corpse aviator, they, they repeated or Ollie repeated that enough were actually kind of like stuck and also like there were certain like uh riffs i think in like the two minute mark that were repeating themselves and they tend to repeat things quite a bit but like i felt like uh they were actually kind of like slowing things down and making things easier to follow which was actually like kind of refreshing for the band because they're so like non-stop which i love but you know for a third single it's like showing the variety to this band and also i really like the clean sections it reminds me of moonlight sonata or something especially the first time around like sounded really nice and pleasant and then the second clean setting was actually really nice as well and like those sections of music are so important to kind of like break up the flow of these songs and like you know on first listen people are going to think like it's random like who, people who don't like tech death or death metal or whatever like oh it's random it's just noise but like the the songwriting here is actually really smart in terms of like repeating things enough where actually things can like stick because like that they actually purposely do that which i think is so cool and then the clean sections they do that purposely to break up the flow of the songs and i think that's huge you know if they didn't have that the songs would just be a lot and it's like you know the first song didn't have that but there was enough changes and grooves and i had like an outro breakdown uh so it was cool but anyway with, with this song like it's really cool that they have like really cool smart uh, songwriting ideas to um, break up the flow of the songs and keep things engaging and interesting and refreshing like that's what I mean like it's very smart like how they get from one part to another man another pro is like I've already talked about how awesome this band is through my other reactions but like the music video was actually really cool like it was a clever idea to kind of like have these guys as kind of like not like robots I'm trying to figure out what they were but like they're more like guinea pigs and uh it's just kind of funny because like these guys are just not human that's my way of interpreting the video and just seeing them kind of like uh go through these tests or whatever was actually pretty funny like at the end it just got stupid gory and it just that one shot where he was like talking or doing the growls without his head was actually such cool effects like very very cool man like uh i'm trying to think maybe they had some like a uh, hydraulic and like remote or something to move around or something that seemed like it was mimicking in the vocals but that was really cool the music video was just like a really cool um video that we don't typically get from like death metal as well uh usually this genre of music is very dark and um you know because it's talking about you know death metal right um and that's why this band is so refreshing man they're really fun and um when i listen to other death metal bands they really go into the tropes of you know other death metal which is like dark melancholic and evil and sinister which is cool but it's refreshing to have a band that is just like has music videos like this you know and fun it's just really fun um let's move on to the cons no i have i have no cons man uh, I don't think I've ever had cons listening to Artspire. They uh, write really excellent music, extremely fun, crazy technical. Like, I cannot break this down, especially on first uh, listen, but I would love to learn this. It's going to take forever to learn this stuff on guitar, but I don't I don't even have an eight string, so I can't. But uh, those Kiesels that Dean plays, they look pretty fucking sick. Same with Toby. They both look, uh, their guitars are cool. and. 
Kind of selling me on Kiesel's, man. But anyway, I'm talking way too much. So that's my thoughts on Art Spire's new song. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. So comment down below. Spice up my life. What did you guys think of the new tune from Art Spire? Is it better than the first two singles? What did you like more? I'd love to know. Also, if you got to this point in the video and haven't clicked off yet, then I appreciate the shit out of you, man. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. But other than that, thank you for tuning in. Till next time. Peace.